How to deal with a toxic relationship. Hello everyone. How are you? Today our topic is about dealing with a toxic relationship. Here is the story. Once there was a group of friends who shared an unbreakable bond. Among them was Sarah, a vibrant soul known for her infectious laughter and unwavering loyalty. However, Sarah struggled with a friend, Alex, whose demeanor often cast a shadow over their group. Alex was charming but carried an air of toxicity that sowed discord within the circle. His constant need for attention led to manipulative behavior and frequent outbursts, damaging the harmony among friends. At first, Sarah overlooked these traits, hoping for positive change. She believed in the good within Alex and stood by him through difficult times. However, as the toxicity escalated, Sarah found herself caught in a dilemma. She cherished the camaraderie but felt the weight of Alex's negative influence. Despite her loyalty, Sarah began to notice the toll it took on her well-being. The once vibrant gatherings felt tense and draining. Alex's behavior became a source of stress, affecting the entire group's dynamics. Sarah grappled with conflicting emotions. She wanted to salvage the friendship and help Alex but realized the atmosphere was toxic for everyone involved. She knew she had to address the issue for the sake of the group's harmony. With a heavy heart, Sarah initiated an honest conversation with Alex, expressing concern about the impact of his behavior on the friendship circle. She conveyed genuine care but emphasized the need for healthier interactions. At first, Alex was defensive, denying any wrongdoing. However, Sarah remained calm and persistent, outlining specific instances and how they affected everyone. Slowly, Alex began to realize the gravity of his actions and the strain it placed on the friendships. In time, Alex acknowledged the need for change. He sought support, attending therapy sessions and engaging in self-reflection. It was a challenging journey, marked by setbacks and moments of growth. Sarah stood by Alex, offering encouragement and guidance throughout this transformative period. The entire group rallied behind him, showing solidarity and understanding, which played a pivotal role in Alex's progress. As Alex gradually shed toxic behaviors, the group dynamics shifted positively. Laughter returned, conversations flowed freely, and the bond among friends grew stronger than ever. Though the road was rocky, Sarah's courage to address the toxicity within their friendship circle paved the way for positive change. It taught her the value of honesty, compassion, and the significance of nurturing healthy relationships. Through patience, understanding, and unwavering support, Sarah and her friends emerged from the ordeal stronger, demonstrating the power of friendship and the potential for positive transformation even in the face of toxicity. Dealing with a toxic relationship in a positive manner involves taking steps to protect your well-being while fostering personal growth. Here are some strategies. 1. Self-reflection. Assess the situation, reflect on the dynamics of the relationship. Acknowledge the toxic behaviors and their impact on your mental and emotional health. Identify triggers, recognize what triggers negative interactions or emotions in the relationship. Understanding these triggers helps in managing reactions. 2. Establish boundaries. Communicate boundaries, clearly communicate your boundaries to the other person. Be firm yet respectful about what behavior you will not tolerate. Stick to your limits, consistently uphold your boundaries. Don't compromise on your well-being for the sake of the relationship. 3. Focus on self-care. Prioritize your well-being, invest time in activities that nurture your mental health. Practice self-care through hobbies, exercise, or relaxation techniques. Seek support, surround yourself with supportive friends or seek professional help if needed. 
Having a support network can provide guidance and comfort. 4. Choose your responses. Avoid escalation, refrain from engaging in arguments or confrontations that escalate tensions. Respond calmly or consider disengaging from conflict. Use assertive communication, express your feelings and concerns using I statements. Maintain a calm and assertive tone to communicate effectively. 5. Set realistic expectations. Accept limitations, understand that you can't always change the other person's behavior. Focus on managing your responses and expectations. Manage expectations, avoid expecting sudden changes in the relationship. Incremental progress or small improvements can be more realistic. 6. Consider the future. Evaluate the relationship, assess the impact of the relationship on your life and well-being. Consider whether the toxicity outweighs the benefits of the relationship. Plan an exit strategy, if necessary, plan to distance yourself gradually. This could involve reducing contact or seeking professional guidance to navigate the separation. 7. Focus on personal growth. Learn from the experience, use the challenges of the relationship as opportunities for personal growth and self-reflection. Set goals, redirect your focus toward personal goals and aspirations. Channel your energy into endeavors that promote your well-being and happiness. Dealing with a toxic relationship positively involves prioritizing your mental and emotional health, setting boundaries, and fostering self-care and personal growth. Remember, it's okay to prioritize your well-being and distance yourself from toxic dynamics for a healthier and happier life. Hope you like it and follow Wink Positive. Have a great day. Lini.